Hey guys, welcome to my 13 week video vlog update. Um, I decided to film outside today because it's super super nice out and I live in a beautiful beautiful area so I figured I'd take advantage of that. Um, hopefully the lighting's okay. The sun's trying to set so it's a little bit light, um, not super light out so it's kind of getting dark. So I'm going to make this quick. Um, not much has been going on as far as symptoms go. Um, I'm still feeling pretty exhausted for the most part, so I have to take a nap basically um, every single day. Um, and my acne has seemed to calm down a little bit this week, which is really nice because it was getting a little bit ridiculous. But I haven't really had any new things going on, just like a lot on my chest, but not really as much on my face. And also, um, I still have the back aches and stuff, especially after work and stuff like that. Um, one thing that I haven't been mentioning, and I don't know why, I guess because I hadn't really considered it a symptom, um, is my stomach. Like, I don't have, like, that line that, that pregnant women get, but I do have more increased hair right there, so it kind of looks like a line. My cat is, um, sorry, he's being annoying. Ben! No! Okay, they really want outside. Anyway... So, um, that's been happening. So I have increased hair on my stomach. It's kind of weird. Um, also, I hadn't mentioned, but this has pretty much been going on the whole pregnancy. Um, I figured I would mention it because it's getting, like, really ridiculous. But I have a lot more CM. So I have, like, really, really increased CM right now. And, like, it's really, really gross. And I have to change my underwear, like, a lot throughout the day. Um, also, I'm still having tender breasts and stuff. But... Pretty much other than that, everything's mostly been the same as far as I can tell. Um, still really hasn't hit me that I'm pregnant. I mean, it does it sometimes, and then like today it hasn't really been. We did go to Walmart, and like I saw all the fabrics for like the baby stuff, and it was like super, super cute. Like I saw these little elephants. So I was thinking um, when we find out the sex, hopefully in two weeks, that we um, that I will maybe make some blankets or something fun um so this week baby is the size of a peach now so that's like huge it was a kiwi before so it's growing so it's like three inches approximately and the fingerprints are fully formed now so that's really cool too um oh and also the baby's head is now becoming more proportioned to its body so it's not like super super big like it was in the beginning and um, it's starting to become more proportioned and look like a baby. Um, as far as cravings go, it's pretty much the same as it's been throughout the pregnancy. Still been having smoothies almost every day. Um, protein and anything salty. And aversions, I haven't really had any aversions lately. So that's cool. Um, I forgot to mention it. Whew, lots of bugs, sorry. I forgot to mention it last week. But um, we did find a doula. Last week we went and we interviewed two of them. It was really, really, really hard to choose because the first one we met, she had like eight years experience. She was older. She was really calm and like genuine and really cool. Um, and she seemed to know a lot, but we didn't really like connect, connect with her. And then the second lady that we interviewed seemed very, very young, disorganized and kind of like out there, but she was really enthusiastic. And um, she only had like I believe one or two years experience, but we did connect with her, so it was a really hard decision. But ultimately, we made a pro and con list, and we ended up going with the first lady who we didn't initially feel that connection, but we feel like um, we have like two prenatal appointments that we're gonna do and stuff like that. So by that time, and we do the prenatal appointments, hopefully we'll have that connection by then, which we should. Um, and also, I'm super excited, next week is Mother's Day, and we are going to announce the pregnancy then, like, for the whole world, like, everybody, basically, through Facebook and all that, and, um, in fact, we and my husband just got done taking the picture for that, um, it's really, really super cute, and I can't wait to show you guys, but, um, I'm gonna wait until I post it first, and, um, I did want to ask you guys, I forgot all about the red cabbage test, I saw it the red cabbage in my fridge and I was like oh my gosh I forgot to take that I think part of the reason why is because when I took the 
um, baking soda test. I actually took it like three days in a row and every single day I basically got different results. So I was like, well, this is crazy. It's like, just depends on what you eat throughout the day. So I was like kind of discouraged. <laughs> I know it's just fun and it doesn't mean anything, but still it was kind of weird. But, um, if you guys want me to take that test regardless, because I still have it in my fridge, go ahead and hit the like button, and I'll totally try to do that either this weekend or midweek um, when I have a little bit of free time. Um, and then I think that's it for my update. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my bump. It's seeming to get a little tiny bit bigger because this morning I had a really, really hard time finding anything to wear because I wanted to wear shorts today because it was hot. Um, and my bras are still not fitting correctly, but I didn't want to wear a sports bra because it makes me really flat chested. But like my bras are just, they don't, they're just tiny. I, I need a whole cup size bigger now. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my bump. Oh, ow, sorry. I'm not used to this table. Ugh. Ugh. So this is what it looks like with my shirt on, and it's like a flowy shirt, so you can't really tell much with it, unless I go like this. You can kind of see a little bit of a bump. And then this is what it looks like with my little band. Oh my gosh, and I totally did what you guys said, and I, I cut the little tag, and it like, it, it works great. I love it. It's so much more comfortable now. But like you can see, it's like all my lower tummy right here is like poking out. And then without it, it pokes out so far. These pants were really hard to get into this morning, but I ended up wearing them anyways. But I mean, you can see it's just a mess. I can't even zip them up at all. And I have like a crazy rubber band that's way long. It's supposed to cinch way in and I couldn't even like it's ridiculous <laughs> alrighty guys thank you so much for watching and again just click like if you guys want me to go ahead and try the red cabbage test anyway bye